Hello friends, Blip on the Radar, Mark Palermo here, talking Disney Pixar's Brave. You know, bears are a funny thing. See, in 2003, Disney had an animated film called Brother Bear, which was about a character who transforms into a bear. And they're sort of revisiting that with Brave. Bears are kind of taking over our movie screens. First there was like Hobo with a Shotgun, about a hobo with a shotgun who was obsessed with bears. And then this other bear movie came out, which was, uh, what was that called? And it, it was pretty good. Bears are a commanding animal and are also at the center of Brave, where Disney revisits a lot of the story elements of Brother Bear. Audiences, I think, are now at a point where they've become jaded to uh, the wow factor of computer animation. This is what Pixar could always count on um, as a studio when they were releasing some of their earlier films, such as uh, Toy Story, Bugs Life, Monsters, Inc. Um, and since then, they've really sort of built up uh, this reputation as a storytelling factory. People, uh, as they become more and more jaded to the animation, have this dependency that Pixar movies are great. They have a demand for uh, the newest Pixar masterpiece. It's a movie that the whole family will love. It's a movie that if uh, you give it a bad review on Rotten Tomatoes, you'll get 500 people telling you what an asshole you are. With Brave, Pixar is really moving into a more traditional style of storytelling. It almost feels like the types of movies that, as a comparison, Disney was putting out in the 70s. Movies like Rescuers, Aristocats, or their mid-80s animated film uh, based on Lloyd Alexander's Black Cauldron. This one fits within that fantasy genre. So it's set in Scotland, and this girl with flaming red hair named Marita is going to be uh, the next queen, and she has to find her suitor. And so all the suitors have to show, you know, why they're they're worthwhile. It becomes, you know, the, the, the computer animation high-tech version of The Bachelorette, which, as a film goer, I, I, I for a long time thought we needed. But Marita isn't having it. She is an independent, liberated, 10th century feminist, and her parents don't understand that. So this discord occurs between Marita and her mother. As a result of this, uh, her mother is transformed into a bear. Brave Relief Sells That is a story about a relationship between a girl and her mother. There's this great scene, for instance, in the woods where the mother began to almost have her animal instinct take over her. She's no longer, you know, the human. She's now this this other kind of animal. And, and that's a terrifying moment. And I almost wish there was a little more of that type of scene uh, where, you know, Marita kind of like senses this respect in this woman that she never fully expressed or fully appreciated. Um, and those moments really make the movie, they, they give it its heart. What Brave has that separates it from a lot of the other Pixar films is this real kind of directness to it. There's nothing sprawling about it. There's no real pretense of, you know, this great film experience. It's almost simply set on being a fantasy. And that kind of works for it because it has the directness of tone, I think, of, of a Scottish folktale. It's a great looking movie, and that's to be expected, but it also isn't afraid to just be fun. The major weakness of the movie is that Marita, although uh, is designed really well as a very sort of distinctive looking character, uh, isn't exactly bustling with personality. She almost comes off as too much of a brat when we need to sort of see her side a little more. Also, the title Brie, which is explained at the very end, is not really suitable. I don't feel that that explanation really quite grasps what this movie is in fact about. It's not a story about Marita's bravery so much as it's about her internal change and regret. Brave is not a classic, but from the Pixar canon, there's something refreshing about that. It's the most unassuming movie they've ever made. Brave gets a rating of B. Also, if you guys could subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be awesome. I'm, I'm only trying to be the Jenna Marbles of the new generation.